Hello, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capitan Jr. Wishing you a good day. Now, uh, what I'm going to do today is to introduce to you my demo board. Okay, so this is my demo board. Uh, in my previous tutorial, we have done uh, the, I have given you some introduction with motor control. Then I have done one BMS graphics that shows uh, the BMS points to be controlled and some animation. And I have done one control logic programming. Now, uh, and previous to that, I already show you how are you going to create or uh, uh, define your automation server. Okay, this is my automation server. Then how are you going to add IO modules? So in that tutorial, I have added one DO or digital output module. Then <clears throat> I configured two points in that DO module. F1 start stop command and EF2 start stop command. Okay, in that DO module, we uh, define two points, physical points. Now in, I added also one universal input, 16, UI, then I defined the uh, monitoring points for the twin exhaust fan. Okay, so I hope you will review that tutorial. <clears throat> so this tutorial will not be very long. Okay, so automation server, uh, I have added two uh, IO modules, DO and UI. Then I have created uh, graphics, okay. Then I also uh, created the control program, okay. So this is the control program. I've created the control program. Then today what I want to do is introduce to you my demo board so that you will have an idea how are we going to load or how are we going to load <clears throat> the control program to the uh, automation server, okay? Now, before that, I would like to uh, introduce you to my demo board. Now, uh, to, to do the twin exhaust fan control logic, we need a motor control, okay? So this is my motor control. I already have one uh, tutorial for this. So I have here some pilot lamp or indication lamps. Then I have two selector switch. I have push button for manual operation. Now what I'm going, to, what we are going to do is to uh, simulate the automatic operation of the uh, twin exhaust fan. So. To simulate the twin exhaust fan, I have here two small fans, okay? Then I have here my contactors and overload protection. Then I have some miniature relay here for the provision of the BMS points like the auto status, rat status, okay? Now I have here <clears throat> an air differential pressure switch for the uh, airflow status, but uh, as you know, uh, the fans are too small. We cannot install this uh, air differential pressure sheet because it should be installed across the fan. So to do that, I have some uh, toggle switches here that we can use. Uh, let's say we can say, okay, there is already airflow. We can toggle the switch to on to simulate the airflow, okay? So these toggle switches are used for simulating the uh, fill device if it is a, a, a contact only, okay, open and close contact, okay. Now, uh, so I have here my control panel. I have here my small switch, okay. Now I have here my automation server. This is the automation server, power supply and automation server. Now my automation server is connected to the switch, okay, network switch. Then my uh, workstation and my server, BMS workstation and server uh, in my laptop will be connected to the switch. So from my laptop, 
going to the switch, then this uh, automation server also is connected to the switch. So the link is complete. Okay. Now, as a BMS engineer, you should be able to learn also how to do the networking. Uh, of course, before your IP will communicate to each other, it should be in the same network, okay, or in the same network ID, okay. Now, uh, here, one, two, three, four, five, these are my IO modules, okay, so DO, UI, so this is my DO, and this is my UI16, okay. So, this control panel is already pre-wired, so this points, the two points in DO is already wired here to start this, uh, to start this uh, twin exhaust fan. I pulled cable from this DO to the motor control, okay, to activate this uh, magnetic contact one, okay. Now, twin, uh, this UI16, UI16, I already pulled the cable from this relays that I use to give the monitoring points to our uh, DDC, okay? So I can say this is the DDC. Then there are also three DDC here. These are backnet uh, controllers, okay? So I have three backnet controllers here. One, two, three. Then I have my automation server with five IO modules, okay? Now today what I'm going to do is to... Uh, configure our uh, control logic program. Okay, so let me go to my control logic program. Okay, so this is how you are going to uh, bind the points, okay, or configure your control logic program to DDC. This is uh, as per the request of one of my subscribers, I'm doing this tutorial, okay. So once you open your uh, Twin exhaust fan control, okay? Now you have to configure several things, okay? So first we have here the basic tab, the input tab, the output tab, then the reference tab, okay? So you first you go to the basic. What are the uh, uh, information in the basic tab? Now here, as you can see here, compilation valid, meaning the program uh, doesn't have any error, so it is compiled successfully, okay? Status unloaded, okay? So this is the question of my subscriber, how you are going to do this. Now, number of cycles, okay, okay, okay. Just leave this into uh, default, okay? Now, if you want to enable, if you want to enable the program, all you need to do is put it in yes, okay? So put it in yes, then task, you just leave this task default system task task three okay execution precedence just leave this by default okay so the important thing in this basic tab is the compilation value because if it is not valid or it is false then there's some problem with the uh, control logic program meaning there might be some uh, error in the logic or there are some identification problem maybe you have used an invalid uh, character okay especially in identifying your uh, blocks okay so these are the important things that you need to uh, bear in mind in the basic tab now in the inputs now these are the inputs okay so these inputs are the monitoring points or the physical points now actually uh, we already defined this uh, inputs in this UI16. Okay, so this uh, universal in or these inputs in our program should be uh, configured or bind to the actual physical points uh, connected in our uh, IO module. Okay, so EF1 hand of auto status. So it is null, meaning it is not yet. Uh, configure. So let me configure it. So what I will do, so th this is the configuration uh, dialog box. Now you have to go to the reference. Okay, you have to define the reference. Okay, now it will show you your uh, project review, then you will go to the 
IOBAS because you have to bind it or refer it to the actual physical points defined in your universal input. Okay, so what I'm defining is EF handoff auto. Okay, then I have to go to my uh, UI module. Then I have to look for EF1. So I have to select this EF1 and the auto status. Then by default, the value is selected. So you have to uh, select the value. This, this is the real time value, then just select. Then okay. Okay, now, uh, okay, then, okay, it's already selected there. Okay, it's just showing the null. Okay, no problem. Now, EF1 run status, I have to bind it also. Reference. Okay, then go to my, what is that one? Uh, run status, EF1 run status, value select. Okay, now let me do it fast. Okay, what is that one? Uh, fire alarm. So fire alarm, did I, okay. So I did not uh, create the file alarm here. Later, I will create it. Let's proceed to the other one. Uh, cancel file alarm. Okay, now let's do this. EF2 airflow status. EF2 airflow status. EF2 airflow status. Okay, select. Okay. EF2 airflow status trip. EF2 trip. Okay, EF2. Okay, you have to trip. Okay, you have to run. You have to run status select. Okay. You have to handle out the status. Then you have to airflow. Okay, you have to airflow. E F two airflow. Okay, so run select. Okay. Then E F one trips. E F one trips. Select. Okay. Now the output. Okay. Let's see if we can bind the output. Okay. You cannot bind the output here. So first, let me create the universal input uh, fire alarm so that, okay, it should be saved. Okay, cancel. Don't forget to save the configuration of your control logic program. Then here, let me create another point. Edit in spreadsheet. Okay, here I will select digital input. Now this one is, I will say fire alarm, fire alarm, CS, okay. Then description is fire alarm status. Okay. Now the channel, okay, let's use this channel nine. So input nine, okay. So meaning in my 16, digital inputs or universal inputs, I have used already nine, okay? So I have still, uh, how many? <clears throat> Around six uh, digital inputs free. Now save it. Okay, let's, let us go back. Okay, I will close this, I will close this, then I will go back to my control, double click, then I will go back to my inputs. Then fire alarm, so this is not yet. As you can see here, if it is not yet uh, binded to the physical points, the color is different. So this one is not yet binded. So it will just display null. Okay, configure, then look for the fire alarm. Okay, select. Okay. Now all my, okay, all my, uh, save it. Okay, I save. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing I have to do is 
configure the output here. You cannot bind it here, okay? Because there is no uh, reference, okay? Now, what you will do, you will just come here in the DO, okay? DO, okay. Close this first. I need to see the point. Okay. Let me check. Okay, where is the model ID? Where's the reference? There's no reference here. Okay, basic. Okay, why I don't have here? Okay. This view. Okay. Properties. Okay. Requested value. Where is my output channel? Requested value. Okay. Reference. Select. Okay, now uh, close it. Yes, then this one also right click to go to the property. Property, then this requested value, configure the requested value, then the reference, you have to refer it to the EF2. Select. Okay, now so that is how you are going to. Uh, bind the uh, program, the control logic program to your uh, DDC, okay? So let me go back to my control program, okay? So uh, as you can see here now, we already configure our control logic program or we have, uh, actually it's already in the DDC. All we need to do is bind it to the uh, physical points or the IO module, okay? So as you can see here, it is already enabled. Then inputs are already configured, okay? As you can see here, it is the reference is already there. Then the output, okay? Now you will not be able to see here, but you already refer it to the physical points. Then, uh, how you are going to test it is in the online checking, okay? Because now we cannot test it because we are offline. I'm doing it offline, but in the next uh, uh, tutorials, maybe in the month of March, I will be doing the online checking of all these uh, offline uh, system configuration, okay? Now for your control logic program, you can see it here, okay? Graphics. Okay, so you will be able to see it here. But during the online, we will see exactly how this program is responding to the equipment being controlled and monitored. Okay, so in this tutorial, what I have shown you is how are you going to uh, load or activate this program in your DDC? Okay, then how are you going to uh, do the configuration or the reference of this uh, input point to the actual uh, IO module points, okay? So this program, the program, the program, this program, all these uh, input points and output point, you should be able to bind it. You call it bind or refer, do the reference of these points to the uh, actual IO modules of the DDC, okay? So again, I think I have given you an idea. How are you going to configure these uh, input points and output points to your IO module, DDC IO module, okay? So the next step is test this in uh, online Checking, okay, so meaning when I say online, uh, I am using my BMS workstation to monitor the actual operation 
of our system. So this is our system. Okay, so we will see if we put this in automatic, then the pans, this small two pan will run based on the control logic program. Okay, so I guess I have given you the basic information. How are you going to activate your control logic program in your automation server? And how are you going to reference your control logic program to the IO module to be able to control this twin exhaust fan through our motor control? Okay. So again, uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, video tutorial, and I hope uh, I've given you a bird's eye view on how to uh, configure your control logic program to your DDC. And uh, once again, I would like to say, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And you can also click the notification bell. And Santos Capellan Jr. saying God bless us all. And bye for now.